Let us continue with our lesson and today we will go and learn about the double data type. So what I will do is I will just go on the top over here and let me declare a variable of a doubl double and I will say as a variable of my doubl double one and I will explicitly mention as a doubl double and equals to 10 the 20. And here I will also create another my doubl double two, and I will let mention explicitly, and I will just say as uh, twenty the twenty five. So there is a two way that we create a variable for a double, which is explicitly mentioned, and the way another one is we can we don't have to mention it explicitly. When you assign a value over here, by default, when you assign a any decimal value over here, it will be treated as a double data type so if you want to check you can just check by control shift and d from keyboard and it will take you to the double and from here my double two just select the control shift and d from keyboard it will also take you to the double data type so this is a uh, default if you have any value that you want you have with a decimal value so let's say any decimal value that you put after the number then that will be treated as by default as a double data type in a Kotlin. So let's go down over here and we here we have a float and let's uh, let me tag this one as a float 80 float data type. I'm just copy this and paste it as a float and let me go down and I'll just say as a doubl-e double the doubl-e yeah. and I'll say my double one is uh, equal to let me do the same division 10 uh, the 0 will be divided by uh, 3 the 0 and we will print out the log so just copy this one and just paste it below this one and i'll just print out my double one instead of float one we print out this one and also for we'll do the same for a max value and min value so what I will do is I'll just go down over here and I'll say my double two and I will just say as equals to D O U B L E double dot uh, max value and I will print that one. Just copy this one. Just copy this and paste it down over here. So instead of the uh, float, we need to mention this as a double. So this is a double. This is a double and double two right so just copy and paste that's the uh, max value and let's do for same for our mean value just copy this one and just paste it below and i will just say as a mean value over here so mean value so this will give a minimum and a maximum and that's it so let's run this application and let's see the value that we are getting so just run it let's open the application okay it's running let's go to the log cat over here and yeah if you can see over here we have a float and this is for a float right and this is for a double so if you see over the difference over here the float and the double over here so the double uh, floating uh, precision you can see one two three four five six seven but you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen precision or uh, position you are getting after the decimal point or on a double but you are getting seven on a float so if you want to store a value that has more uh, precision like you want to get the uh, if when you divide a 10 by uh, divide a 10 by a 3 you are value 10 is uh, all the way gone but if you want to reach uh, almost uh, that to that value then you can make use of a double so you can see the larger the value you get at the uh, decimal point then it's more closer to the actual value right so if this is more closer to the actual value compared to the this one so if you are more uh, if you want to get a value that is more precise then you can make use of a double. See, if you make use of a double, you can get the, it's more precise than compared to the float. So uh, that's the two difference between the float and the double that you can make use of. And also the value, if you see the range, it has a so big compared to the float because this is of a 32-bit and 
this interval is of 64 bit and this is a minimum and maximum and this is a minimum value that it can hold. so you can see it's quite a large number that it can hold right and uh, let's see for this is uh, equals to how many bit it is of 64 bit yeah? 64 bit and which is equals to offer 8 byte 64 bit is equal to 8 byte and this is offer the OUBL double the REC ISI one precision double precision value it can hold so that's it for this lesson and hope you enjoyed this one and we'll meet up on our next lecture till then have a great day